Yeshayahu, Isaiah 40. Comfort ye, comfort ye my people, says your Elohim. Speak ye comfortably to Yerushalayim, and cry unto her that her warfare is accomplished, that her iniquity is pardoned. For she has received of Yahuwah's hand double for all her sins. The voice of him that cries in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of Yahuwah. Make straight in the desert a highway for our Elohim. Every valley shall be exalted, and every mountain and hill shall be made low. And the crooked shall be made straight, and the rough places plain, and the glory of Yahuwah shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together, for the mouth of Yahuwah has spoken it. The voice said, Cry, and he said, What shall I cry? All flesh is grass, and all the goodliness thereof is as the flower of the field. The grass withers, the flower fades, because the Ruach, Yahuwah, blows upon it. Surely the people is grass. The grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of our Elohim shall stand forever. O Sion, that bring good news, get you up into the high mountain. O Yerushalayim, that bring good news, lift up your voice with strength. Lift it up. Be not afraid. Say unto the cities of Yahuda, Behold your Elohim. Behold, Adonai Yahuwah will come with strong hand and his arm shall rule for him. Behold, his reward is with him, and his work before him. He shall feed his flock like a shepherd. He shall gather the lambs with his arm, and carry them in his bosom, and shall gently lead those that are with young. Who has measured the waters in the hollow of his hand and meted out heaven with the span and comprehended the dust of the earth in a measure and weighed the mountains in scales and the hills in a balance? Who has directed at the Ruach Yahuwah or being his counselor has taught him? With whom hath took he counsel, and who instructed him, and taught him in the path of judgment, and taught him knowledge, and showed to him the way of understanding? Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket, and are counted as the small dust of the balance. Behold, he takes up the isles as a very little thing, and Lebanon is not sufficient to burn, nor the beasts thereof sufficient for a burnt offering. All the nations before him are as nothing, and they are counted to him less than nothing, and vanity. To whom then will ye like an ale? Or what likeness will ye compare unto him? The workman melts a graven image, and the goldsmith spreads it over with gold, and casts silver chains. He that is so impoverished that he has no oblation chooses a tree that will not rot. He seeks unto him a cunning workman to prepare a graven image that shall not be moved. Have ye not known? Have ye not heard? Has it not been told to you from the beginning? 
Have ye not understood from the foundations of the earth? It is he that sits upon the circle of the earth, and the inhabitants thereof are as grasshoppers that stretches out the heavens as a curtain and spreads them out as a tent to dwell in, that brings the princes to nothing. He makes the judges of the earth as vanity. Yea, they shall not be planted. Yea, they shall not be sown. Yea, their stock shall not take root in the earth. And he shall also blow upon them, and they shall wither. And the whirlwind shall take them away as stubble. To whom then will ye liken me? Or shall I be equal? Says the Holy One. Lift up your eyes on high, and behold, who has created these things that brings out their host by number? He calls them all by names, by the greatness of his might, for that he is strong in power. Not one fails. Why say you, O Yahov, and speak, O Yashadael? My way is hid from Yahuwah, and my judgment is passed over from my Elohim. Have you not known? Have you not heard? That Elohai Olam Yahuwah, the creator of the ends of the earth, faints not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. He gives power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increases strength. Even the youths shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon Yahuwah shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with the wings as eagles. Rather, mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint.